In this video, I'll be showing you how to use a structured output parser in Anaten. So for those of you who might be wondering what is a structured output parser. So basically, and for those of you who know it already, I'll tell you the efficient way to use it. So basically, structured output parser is a node in Anaten. As you can see, this body here in the node in Anaten that helps us to output the data from an AI agent in the way, the way that we want. So for example, I have this prompt here, you are an, you are an advanced investigative AI agent that processes crime news articles through a comprehensive five stage, blah, 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 blah. And I have this input, etc. And I have these kind of inputs from the crime filter node. And, and what this AI agent will output is something like this one. Wait, if you, if you show here, something like an object, JSON object like this. So basically I don't want this shit. I want it properly structured so that I can pass it to my other AI agents and the code nodes here. So how do I do it? So basically, the way I do it is just using structured output parser. Structured output parser here lets, lets me write the output, use the AI agent to write the output in the way I want, like the category output, like the category confidence reasoning. And I asked it to make a Spanish summary as well. So it took all these data, right? Title, category, pub date, country, content, and also the Spanish summary. It wrote the Spanish summary, it, it calculated the risk level, and it gave all the input as well so that I can use these inputs later on this data later on anywhere in the workflow. But if you get, if you get it like this shit, you cannot use anything, right? This is just a JSON array. You cannot reference it anywhere. This is not a JSON object. So basically that's the use of this structured output parser. So I'll show you how to use, how to connect a structured output parser and how to use it. So basically it's simple. You have this AI agent here. I have set up a demo AI agent. And uh, if you open the AI agent, there is a node called as struct. If you open it, there is a node called as button called as require specific output format. You need to turn it on and this body will come here, output parser. So you need to click that. And the third one on the list, structured output parser. So basically if you, if you open this, okay, what the fuck is this? What the hell is this? So basically, and this is just a JSON array, JSON array. So you write the objects inside this. So basically it has a state. So for example, I'll show you the web book. I have put like demo data, like name, upper company, what are we, URL, etc. And I am using this uh, AI agent to summarize what I want. And I want it to, in the output, I want it to output this, my Upwork and my company and what are we, and my URL in the output as well. So I'll ask, I'll change the prompt and give it to summary. So give, uh, make a summary of me, make a summary of me mark me and output the url sorry and you need to explicitly specify what you need to output with what it needs to output as well as long as as well as uh, explicitly specify here as well because you know if you don't do that it will say that model output does not specify uh, does not match the specified output it'll give an error like that if you for those of you who have tried they know it so basically make a summary of me and output the summary and the url even if you give it like this it won't output anything because it just let's let's just try without the output parser. So it's running, it's running. And as you can see in the output, it's just give like the URL is inside the output. We cannot reference it anywhere. And even in the code node, even or even in the edit fields, if you put an edit fields, edit fields, you cannot reference it because it, the link is inside here. So that's when we use a structured output parser. You have I'm just connecting the structured output parser and I am Okay, let's just write it again. Two curly brackets to define the JSON object, JSON array object. Then I'll just define the object inside the array, which is I want the summary, then colon, and I'll just give an example. Devin is awesome. Devin teaches automation. Devin teaches N8 in automation, N8 in AI automation. And, and I just give a comma to go to the next object, to reference to the next object, and I'll give the URL, which is um, hololabs.org hololabs.org so that's basically done and the last object you don't need to put a comma then it will become a don't put a comma after the last object so basically see here so then you run this shit let's see hey boy this is running this is running bro see as you can see here it gave the summary output the summary so to reference this one, if you you can either drag this or I'll tell you how to declare a JSON object. So you need to, for referencing anything in the output, you just need to put a dollar sign 
then you need to put JSON that will give the whole output dot whatever you want. Is it URL or is it summary? Let's put summary. JSON dot uh, uh, wait JSON dot output because this, this whole JSON has an output object. Then inside the output there is summary and URL. So you can reference it as summary or maybe if you can, you can reference it as URL. So you need to learn how to write JavaScript expressions inside uh, anything because even if you know how to drag this stuff, right? When you are writing code nodes inside that, even if chat GPT related code, you need to know how to reference nodes inside this. So dollar AI agent dot all gives the output of all. So similarly stuff like that. So that's how you use an a, a structured output parser in N8. And so basically that's it uh, for the video. Even even so the pro side to this is you can use the structured output in anywhere. Like you can reference this one. If it's structured, you can use it in another AI agent as well. From here, this AI agent, you can filter it to here. But if it's in the output like the previous execution, right? If you go to the previous executions, copy to editor, unpin. If you like, the, it's, it's like the previous execution, you cannot reference it anywhere. So this is the pro side, pro, pro, pro side to it. So that's it for the video. Thank you. If you like this topic, if you like the video, just don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.